It's been 22 years since the last time Bowers & Wilkins introduced new models to the Signature 800 series. Audio Advice was lucky enough to get our hands on the first pairs to come into the United States recently, the 801 Signature Floor Standing Speaker and the 805 Signature Series Bookshelf Speakers. That is what we'll be looking at in today's video. Now let's get started. <music> Right from the get-go, the 801 Signature Speaker is far and away the best 800 series model we have ever heard from Bowers & Wilkins. We've been carrying their products since 1981, so that is high praise indeed. The new Signature 800 speaker models are based on the current 801D4 and 805D4, which were introduced in 2021. Even if you have never owned Bowers & Wilkins speakers, you have more than likely enjoyed a movie or listened to music produced using their 800 series. You'll find these at well-known recording and post-production studios such as Abbey Road and Skywalker Ranch. Now, engineers love the 800 series for their extremely accurate sound reproduction and low distortion and colorations. Now, this respect for the 800 models drives the engineers at B&W's facility in Worthing, England to strive for continuous improvement. Now, when you're proud of what you have accomplished so far, it's a great motivation to become even better. And Bowers & Wilkins have pioneered many new techniques for measuring speaker performance. The staying power of this series is certainly evident as the first 801 model was introduced in 1979, and there have been eight iterations of the 800 series since then. Now, their team took more than six years to design the 800D4 models introduced in 2021, which included many engineering firsts. We have a full review on all of those models that we will link below in our description. Let's review the great tech inside the 800D4 models to give you a bit of background. Bowers & Wilkins introduced the Diamond Tweeter in 2005, a tweeter made from a diamond dust that is very expensive to produce, but its response is extremely linear, way beyond the range of human hearing. All of these models in the 800 series have a very distinctive aluminum turbine head that houses the tweeter. The 801D4, 802D4, and the 803D4 have a second turbine head for the mid-range driver. D3 saw the introduction of their patented continuum mid-range cone based on years of R&D, which virtually eliminated the mid-range surround. They even decouple it from the housing with a unique internal rod. For the D4 models, they invested in million dollar machines to produce amazing reverse wrapped cabinets using several layers glued together with a special technique. Their famous matrix design of internal bracing was also improved with braces made from aluminum. Now, the D4 series also saw all models move to external crossovers. These almost look like a heat sink on the rear of the reverse wrap cabinet. These house the crossovers and serve three primary purposes. First, to reduce the chance of air pressure disturbing the sensitive electronic parts on the crossover. Now, second, it gives the engineers more internal cabinet space for the woofers. And third, it acts as a heat sink for the crossover components. The truly special part about the 800D4 speaker series is the biomimetic suspension system. Back in 2007, the BMW engineers made an interesting discovery. If you look at a mid-range speaker driver, they all have what is called a spider. The voice coil of the driver is attached to the inside of the spider, and the outer perimeter of the spider is attached to the speaker basket. It serves a critical function of keeping the voice coil centered in the magnetic gap. As far back as we can remember, the spider has been made of a flexible material with ridges in it, typically some type of paper or fabric. Now, when they were doing measurements for their continuous search for improvement, they discovered the spider acts like a speaker as it moves back and forth. The air it moves hits the back of the mid-range and adds a small level of distortion. Most mid-range drivers are also somewhat porous, meaning the sound also passes through. It took them 15 years to develop a design to get around this problem, which is the biomimetic suspension. When you see it, you wonder why no one has thought of it before, but it was truly a breakthrough in improving mid-range clarity. There were also hundreds of other improvements in the most recent 800D4 series, but the latest Signature 800 speakers were made to go a step beyond. Within five minutes of hearing the new 801 Signature floor standing speaker for the first time, we could tell that these were something truly unique. Sometimes we see manufacturers create a special or signature product that is really not much different from the model it was based on. And at first glance, except for the two dramatic finishes available on the Signature 800, you might think the same thing. However, these two new models feature many upgrades, including brand new drivers that are unique to the Signature 800 series. 
Now let's explore what the engineers in the UK came up with to improve these two already amazing speakers. First, when you see these, you will be struck by their incredible fit and finish. They are offered in two unique finishes only available with this series. The models we received for testing are in the midnight blue metallic finish. Now Bowers & Wilkins has had an iconic speaker called the Nautilus in their lineup for several years. They require four power amps and they are striking in their sound and appearance. The one year we had a pair on display at a show in our Raleigh location, the line to hear them went all the way around our building. And we also had them on display during the 2021 Audio Advice Live Show and people were just struck by their beauty. They are simply that amazing. Anyways, the reason I bring the Nautiluses up is because the midnight blue metallic finish on the Signature 800 series goes through the exact same painting process as the Nautilus, which is very, very impressive. Other available finish option is California Burl Wood. If you appreciate a beautiful wood finish with lots of movement, you're going to love those ones. The veneer is a sustainably sourced engineered wood from the Italian brand Alpi. To get the look that gives them so much depth and appearance requires many sanding passes by skilled craftsmen followed up by a machine polishing. These have a black Connolly leather trim, and there's no question that these are incredibly beautiful speakers. Now, Let's look at some of the audio improvements their team made to bring these to a higher level. We should let you know up front that none of these speaker upgrades will be available to retrofit the 800D4 models. They will only be available in the Signature 800 series. And the 801D4 model, the mid-range, is in its own aluminum turbine housing. This is attached to the cabinet with an aluminum top plate. In their quest for perfection using extreme measurement analysis, their engineers discovered they could reduce the already very low resonances of this top plate even more. Now when you see the cutaway of this piece, you'll notice a series of specially designed machined out holes in the bottom of the plate. Interestingly, with the size difference of the tweeter housing used in the 805D4, the same technology did not apply. So they found a different way to couple it to the cabinet to reduce resonances. B&W takes the new aluminum top plate and pairs it up with a redesigned leather trimmed plastic collar. When the 800D4 models were in development, B&W started using a damping material called TechSound. This new collar has wedges of TechSound damping added to it at strategic locations. The effect of this new collar and top plate on the 801 signature speaker takes the cabinet even more out of the audio picture. With a very expensive diamond tweeter on board, B&W has always had a protective mesh in front of it to keep prying fingers from damaging the tweeter. In 2015, they came up with a new design that has been in use ever since. This mesh grill needs to be both open for sound and stiff for protection, so it's a balancing act to cover both aspects. They actually tried and measured 25 different versions of new designs before settling on the one that you get in the Signature 800 models. It is far more open than the one currently used and, to our ears, sounded more spacious and even more top-end resolution was there. For the 801 signature speakers, the two 10-inch bass drivers have been redesigned and upgraded to further reduce distortion. The same improvements were made to the mid-range bass driver in the 805 signature bookshelf speakers. They found that if they changed the makeup of steel used in the top plate and the mid plate, they could actually lower the inductance, which led to less distortion. Bowers & Wilkins have used their proven flow port technology to achieve highly accurate bass for quite a while now. They have been bracing the area around where the port attaches to the cabinet with aluminum to improve stiffness of the plastic flow port. The 801 Signature has a new cast aluminum flow port flare designed to make the bass even tighter and improve the sound of the initial attack you hear on deep bass notes. The speaker crossovers used in the 800D4 models were already fantastic. The crossover is the part that directs the signal flow, sending the various frequencies to the right speaker drivers and keeping the frequencies you do not want in those drivers out of the path. It is a critical component you never see that has a huge impact on the ultimate sound quality. So with their drive for perfection and fewer price point limitations on them, the engineers used much more expensive bypass capacitors and added more of them. Both the 801 Signature floor standing speakers and 805 Signature bookshelf speakers get the same improvements, which creates a reduction in distortion and results in cleaner sound across the mid-range and the treble. So a common thread starts to form as you look at all of the improvements in the Signature 800 models. The Bowers & Wilkins engineers use the latest technology to reduce distortion so we can hear our favorite recordings at a deeper level. Our listening tests certainly prove this. These speakers are so good that we suspect the 801 signature will be very popular with many famous recording studios and post-production houses all around the globe. 
we first connected up the 801 signatures to a Class A Delta stack. By the way, these new pieces from Class A sound great. We use their Delta preamp and Delta mono power amps. The sound was so good after we dialed them in that we sat there for almost two hours playing all of our favorite demo tracks and we were just amazed. Our first cut was Blue Rondo a la Turk from the Dave Brubeck Timeout album. This starts out with Dave Brubeck on piano followed by Eugene Wright on the double bass and Joe Morello on drums. It showed off many aspects of what we loved about these speakers. The first piano sounded just like there was a piano in the room with us. The mid-range was just so pure and clear with the harmonics of a piano shining through with zero coloration. When the double bass line hits, you can hear both the feel and the pluck of the strings. The notes were super fast and filled the room with a tuneful bass. The brushing of the cymbal was the icing on the cake to show how effortless and open the tweeter is. The new crossovers, mounting, and new grill have certainly made the classic diamond tweeter able to reveal even more detail and delicacy. Next up was Tecumseh Valley by Nancy Griffith, accompanied by Arlo Guthrie. The track starts out with delicate guitar with the 801 signature shining here, as it felt like the overdubbed guitars were in the room with us. When Nancy Griffith's voice came in, she floated out in front of us. The song had a lot of very subtle emotions in her voice, and they came through so well with us being able to hear every single breath and inflection. Now when Arlo Guthrie followed with his vocals, his gravelly voice was extremely well separated and very distinct. We then checked out the 1960 Chicago Symphony Orchestra conducted by Fritz Reiner playing Scheherazade. In our humble opinion, this is one of the best classical recordings ever. It begins with a blast of the full orchestra and then moves into a wistful violin and harp solo before moving into a section where more instruments join in as the sound finally swells to a huge crescendo. The first several minutes of this recording is a true test for a loudspeaker as it needs to be able to produce the full weight of the orchestra and also reveal all of the emotions of the single violin as it floats in front of you. We were just completely taken aback by how well the 801 signatures captivated us with this actual track. Now moving in a totally different direction, we wanted to hear how they did with some high energy electronic music. We went with Yellow Seminal Oh Yeah. This has vocals flying all around with super impactful deep bass. Again, the 801 signature floor standing speakers just blew us away here. The sound was way outside of the speakers and they handled the deep bass lines with ease. Now, as you can tell, we really enjoyed our time with the 801 signatures and gave our ears a rest before testing out the 805 signature bookshelf speakers. The 805 signatures will not have the deep bass or dynamic capabilities of the 801 signature. What they do do incredibly well is present an open, spacious sound that rivals any small monitor speaker in its class and price point. Now while they do not have the same continuum mid-range driver as the 801 signatures, they still have an open and effortless presentation across the mid-range. These will typically be used in a smaller space and will present good bass under those conditions. But like all bookshelf speakers, their deep bass reach is limited. That said, you just cannot beat the delicate top-end presentation we heard on these. The Signature 800 series from Bowers & Wilkins certainly represents a new level of audio quality for these two models of speakers. If you own the 801s or 802s of any vintage, you will want to check out the 801 signatures. Trust us, you'll instantly fall in love, even after just a brief listening session. It appears that Bowers & Wilkins engineers in the UK have created another classic series of speakers that push the boundaries of state-of-the-art sound. If you're interested in purchasing these Bowers & Wilkins speakers or any other audio or video related gear, just give us a call, chat with us on audioadvice.com, or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. We offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and a price guarantee. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. It also helps us continue to make videos like these, so we really appreciate your support. Now thanks for watching, and until next time, happy listening.